All right, what's good, YouTube? It's Jay here. We are back with another custom fleet battle over on Empire World Remakes free mode, but in space. So the goal of a lot of these videos are just to test out some cool unit combinations and to kind of see what uh, works, you know, for these factions over here. We've got two galaxy guns supported by Grand Admiral Thrawn with a honestly pretty darn tiny rebel fleet. We actually might need to give them a couple more uh, starfighters just because of the fact that they actually are pretty outnumbered right now. They're like, we've got TIE Hunters, TIE Interceptors, and TIE Defenders over there on the side of the Imperials. And uh, some aging Y-Wings and X-Wings really aren't gonna honestly probably cut it. So we're gonna give them a couple of minor unit upgrades. And I think we're also gonna throw a Rogue Scrodge in here too. I think this should be good enough. We've got one, two, three, four. Yeah, some Tartans too, actually. Um, so a couple of CR-90s in here too. I think we'll be golden after that. Okay, I mean, I think this looks okay. I'll give them a U-Wing and two more X-Wing squadrons that I think we're set. I actually think we're gonna cut it right there, but okay. Let's start this epic battle and see kind of how things just kind of roll out. Let's see how this these galaxy guns impact too. See there? No, I was gonna say they're gonna miss their target. They they killed almost all of our fighters. <laughs> and all three of our Nebulon bees, um, they're dead. They are super duper Omega dead, actually. Yeah, wow, okay, noted. Let's chase them down, see how much damage we can do to them. All right, the shields are pretty weak though, it looks like. We've got two home one types, specifically the home one and another uh, independence type or home one type whatever you want to call it home one independence i don't really know and we ain't talking independence day either let's have this one go into a broadside battle with this gun and akbar will do the same over here we've got plenty of starfighters kind of moving in yes commander fire these y wings are gonna get ripped apart but tie fighters also have a really really hard time killing y wings uh interceptors not so much but the regular regular Every day, uh, TIE Intercept or TIE Fighter, they have troubles with those things just because they're so much more bulky and I don't want to say girthy because it sounds really weird. <laughs> but, okay, now these guys are getting ripped apart. Let's have these guys group up over our near Akbar really quick. We'll throw a healing field out. Uh, we'll save this for now. Let's have you focus on this gun. Then the rest of the fighters are coming in and hopefully deal some damage to these guys. They won't know what hit them. Target. I don't know who to focus on first. Again. Rogue Squadron, um You're gonna deal with the hunters, I think. Honestly, I didn't realize how powerful those guns were gonna be. I was not ready for it to do that much damage. We've also got more X-Wing squadrons out here too. And more Y-Wing squadrons. We'll throw a healing field out here for our uh, rebel fighters which are actually holding their own over here really nicely. Let's get focused on Grand Admiral Thrawn for the time being. I think he's probably going to take a little bit more precedence than the actual guns. I do feel like these things should be launching more, though. I'm sure it's probably for balance or whatever, but uh, I feel like we're lacking a little bit given the size of these monstrosities. Corvettes, you're going to focus on the Tartan classes, which are going to be plaguing us. Let's focus the fire on these. Turbo laser cannons online. There's a knight poking yes, sir. the eye. Okay. Hey. We're doing our thing over here. We've lost the shields on uh, home one. Changing course. Which is whatever. As long as Thrawn goes down first, that's all that really matters. I think we can have Akbar focus guns on these uh power points to kind of get rid of some of these uh, hangar bays. Uh, somebody do an uh counter by the end of the video too. <laughs> Let me know how many uhs that you've heard so far. We're going to engage these guys at point blank range. I wish you could kind of just get a smidge closer with the uh, bigger capital ships. Oh, this is glorious. This is so beautiful. Okay, let's do full power to engines. I think we're fully out of X-Wing squadrons now, which is unfortunate. Actually, this can't even move up. Oh, no, we got more. Okay, we're not done yet. The X-Wing is literally never done. They've got two TIE Interceptor Squadrons flying around. Yeah, we should deal with the hangar bays on this. ASAP. Apocalypse missiles, siege turbo lasers, 
Wow. Okay, we've taken out these side interceptor or defenders. The hunters are still kicking. B wings, uh, try and shoot some of these guys down. I think we're out of Y wings too, though. Stay in formation. Okay, the healing field's out. I don't know if these guys are actually really going to benefit from it at this range or point. We can drop the fighter healing fields too. Akbar's healing fields can kind of go out. Let's do what they're on. Okay, more, more defenders to take care of. Boy, they are not letting up with the defender squadrons. Okay. Just keep on firing, Rebels, or Republic. At this point, this is some, like, Repu New Republic stuff. Uh, right here. <laughs> Ooh, we these guys are getting eaten alive, man. X-Wing squadrons. Poor, poor X-Wing squadrons. The shields are still full on this thing, by the way. Let's deal with some of these, uh, Tartans. Try and wipe them out as fast as possible. They're a little easier to hit. They're still launching more TIE Hunters. Wow. Hey, Thrawn is almost dead. Let's concentrate some fire on his, uh, his Octopal Barbets. Or how you pronounce that. The only real squadrons that are still alive over here is Rogue Squadron and, um, the A-Wings. But they're holding it together really nicely. We got more reinforcements coming in. Let's try to aim for some of these hard points here. Thrawn has a bunch of untargetable hard points too, so he's going to be alive for a while if we don't know. He's going to be still be basically kicking. He's still going to be shooting if we don't do something about him. Okay. Come on, you guys can do this. I don't know how we haven't destroyed this guy yet. He's got one engine hard point left. All right, B-Wings, do me a favor and just zoot over here really quickly. Never mind, we got him. I'm gonna shoot some torpedoes at this thing. There we go. Yeah, the guns of this thing do not play around. Wow. We're still alive over here. We've lost the Union squadrons. The B-Wings are doing their thing now as dedicated bombers. Uh, I feel like I fear we're gonna lose home one though. All right, forward march. Most of the Imperial fighters are actually dead though. Wait a minute. The B wings are still here. We just need to take out this last hangar bay, and we're, go we're golden on that. Uh, honestly, let's take out the Tartans next. Right, we're gonna have a new home one at this rate with the way this one's going down in the blaze of glory. Inter or defenders inbound. Take them out. This thing has so many hangar bays, dude. And we're really not doing that much damage to it, honestly. Ooh, we I would not want to be these fighters over here. They've been duking it out with these guys for ages. Oh, the hunters are stuck in defense mode. No wonder they're not really putting up much of a fight. Okay, I thought something was a little off. Home one still has a sh shields somehow. Okay, this is a little bit slower than I thought it would be going. Let's fast forward a little bit. Okay, Rogue Squadron and the E Wings. Oh, we got more. We got more fighters spawning in. Okay, we're not. We're not out yet. We still got some units coming in. And to uh, help us out over here. How close are these two? Oh my God, they're right on top of each other. I don't know how often you can shoot that Apocalypse missile. But um, like I said, we're we're still doing damn good right now. Look at all the hangar bays on this thing. It's a monster. It's almost like it's a super weapon or something. So long as we're still launching fighters, though, we're pretty much not out of this fight at any point. Repair fields are doing their thing. I don't know how many like um untargetable guns we have on this guy. Actually, do we have any at all? Don't look like it. All of our main weapon systems are out of home one. It's just a giant meat shield at this point. Kind of wish uh, Star Wars had a proper hull system, but I think ALTR is the only mod that really does that, like with the hull like center hard point, you know? 
which really, really makes some battles different, you know, because of the untargetable hard points. Okay, let's focus the fire on this hangar bay. Is, did this did this thing get his shields back up again? Brother, how many times are these interceptors going to come back fighting and swinging? They're not going down. These defenders, rather. Okay, Rogue Squadron and company are dealing with these guys kind of nicely. They just launched another defender squadron. This thing is just basically an R camera, but good. I think we've gotten pretty much all the hangar base taken care of. There's only one left on this guy. Okay, let's deal with these tartans. I just can't believe how long these guys have survived. <laughs> there we go. Oh no! Oh no, Akbar is dead! <laughs> well, we've taken out the hangar bays on this, so now what do we do? I mean, we concentrate some fire on this guy? Try to take out the hangar bays on it, maybe? There are two E Wing squadrons still alive, or two E Wing fighters. It's really proven it's like weight right now, or it's, it's, it's power. E Wings are generally going to be better than the X Wing in this mod, if uh, I'm not mistaken. Let's deal with that last tartan. Chase it down. There you go. Right, we got more hunters and uh, interceptors to deal with, or defenders rather. The shields are coming back up. We don't have access to any more bomber craft or any more proper bomber craft anyway. Let's deal with the last of these hunters and then um, I'm trying to focus the fire on taking out these uh, shield generators and these ships themselves. They live a lot longer than I thought they would, honestly. I thought they were tissue paper. But most mods these days are really opting out of the uh, tissue paper like, mechanics that some other mods do, you know? Like, so, like units in a lot of mods like ALTR and Remake, they don't die that quickly. They live for a while, which is a good thing in my opinion. We got one more uh, Tartan squadron to deal with here, or just one Tartan in general. Oh, he's getting chased now. And, and he's dead. Perfect. Okay, let's, let's look at the shield generators on this. Rogues, you deal with this. Uh, X-Wings, you deal with this. CR 90s, you deal with this. Yeah, there we go. Oh, they are on fire, literally. Okay, we got the shields back down on this again. This is going to be a slog, actually. Let's fast forward just a smidge. Try to take care of these guys. Without a repair field. These ones are putting up a fight. They're still launching more of them. Come on, man. They won't know what hit him. Holy cow, they are not giving up. Okay, well, it's just Rogue Squadron, some X-Wings, some Y-Wings, some CR-90s that are still kicking. That's okay. I might fast forward just a tiny bit, though, to see how, like, things turn out. We're, it's, it's been a minute. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm gonna fast forward really quick, guys, and uh, I'll see you guys once we've gotten this one's shields at least down and maybe some of the hard points destroyed. Okay, so we've beaten this thing down to four hard points. It just kind of goes to show we're gonna literally need explosives, like hard explosives to kind of deal with these ships. Uh, they have a lot of armor. Like the standard home one type laser cannons, which are really, really heavy. We've got some siege turbo lasers, some high impact ones, you know, quad turbo lasers, all the heavy stuff. And uh, it just took forever to actually beat the shields off of this thing, beat the hard boys down. We got a lot of health. So just keep that in mind whenever you fight one of these things, man. Does this thing have beam cannons also? Okay, we conquered the day. It took way longer than I thought it would, but we've actually destroyed both of those galaxy guns finally. So Grand Admiral Thrawn versus the two MC-80s Home 1 types and squadrons. Still doable, just takes a while. The Home 1 types can take a lot and I mean a lot of damage. Took a while, but it was still kind of fun in the end. In the next video, I think we're gonna check out things like the existed. I mean, it's such a stupid design show, but it'll still be just kind of fun to pit against some other ships. So thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like on it. Sub to the channel for gaming content. As always, this has been Jay the Gamer. I will see you later. May the force be with you all. Peace.